Hi, we're now looking at a third common pre-production document, which is a visualization diagram. A very fancy way of saying really just a visual tool which shows what your eventual digital media product might look like. So also called a mock-up sometimes. And really they're designed primarily for if you are creating a still image product or maybe an interface. So if you're making a website or if you're making a, a poster, something like this. So not really for videos or um, animations. We'll look at storyboards and scripts in the next couple of videos. But really they're just a way of you sketching out either really, really informally on paper, but often also on a computer, how your product is gonna look like. So this is for an app. This is a really, really um, basic example of an interface being sketched out. So if one on the left is just a very quick sketch on paper, the one on the right was done, I think, in PowerPoint. So it's not the actual application itself, it's just a, a sketch of where things might go. This example here is just done on paper for a website. Again, this is another interface, just sketched out, not lots of detail, but it's a way of visualizing how it might look like. This example here is a nice annotated version of, again, it looks like a website. We've also got a bit of detail about the color scheme, which is quite nice as well, being just shown here just very informally. Here we've got a sketch of a trainer being designed. So these are kind of ideas of how a visualization diagram might look like. They will often be a little bit more developed and a little bit more polished than these ones here. It may be done on a computer using fancy modeling software as opposed to just on paper, but on paper is just as fine. And usually we do add annotations, which will explain any unfinished details or any unclear details. Right, this website on the left here has got loads of annotations because actually not much content is shown. It's more just for shell of website. And so any annotation makes it more clear, especially if somebody else is gonna to have to use this diagram in production. For your exam, you'll be expected to add annotations to any rough visualization diagrams you are asked to make. So why even bother doing this? Why even bother making a visualization diagram? Well, they allow you to see how your idea could look once it is made, whereas a mind map and a mood board don't give you specifics on how it will look. They may give you aspects of it, but not actually how it will look, so that's really useful. Here is a slightly more professional, maybe, visualization diagram. This one actually looks like it's almost like a mood board, but actually this was made using 3D modeling software. So here is a few products which have been designed in the early stage, but this looks like it's fairly realistic, even though this is still just a planning document. So usually you'll contain in your diagram all of the features you want. So you're pretty near to deciding exactly how you want your product to look like, but maybe you're not fully done. So you will include things like colors, your, your color scheme, uh, any logos you've decided on, textures you might be using, fonts and so on. So you wanna make it look fairly realistic and fairly well finished, but it's still maybe a little bit rough. It's not gonna be perfect at this stage because we haven't started it yet. There's no point making it look incredible if you haven't actually done it yet. And often what happen is you'll create multiple versions of the same product because you are still planning. It allows you to make comparisons between them and also get feedback about which one is maybe preferred by a certain group of people. Maybe you are giving a few options to your client. Maybe you're doing some market research and, and asking people for their opinions on different designs. So you might have a few just to allow that feedback to be collected. And finally, just to give you a few evaluation points, which is not really a key focus for this qualification, but it's still useful to have in your mind pros and cons. So advantages of using these diagrams as opposed to other pre-production documents is it's very, they're very good at showing ideas and designs very quickly. It's a nice visual way of showing it and it looks pretty much how the final product will look like, maybe missing some content, but it shows quickly what you are intending to create. And on a similar point, it's very easy for non-specialists to understand. If you're designing a website, not everyone understands how to build a website, but at least they can see here the main structures, maybe the main colors as well. And especially if you are not the one actually making it during production, it's really good to have a nice reference to use during execution, during production, when the actual product is being made. It's easier for someone to actually implement your idea if you've got a nice visual representation of it. However, the risk is you might make it too rough and you might not add annotations, so there may not be enough detail to be implemented directly. You may need other documents to really affirm exactly what you mean and exactly what you want to be created. So it's good to make sure you it's not too rough and it has got some annotations. And finally, sometimes they can be a little bit unrealistic. If you are designing it and you're not actually going to be making it, it's tempting to make it very uh, fancy and unrealistic when actually that just isn't feasible during production.